What's up guys? Today I want to talk about one of the best live arena champions and I would definitely say that the most underrated champion in the game overall for PvP by far. Like this champion has seen use in top 10 platinum arena and I still see it every now and then in live arena but very rarely and he's insanely good. You very likely might have him because it's not a void champion or mythic champion. He works both as a nuker and support, gives you a lot of options in live arena that you can run him as a third nuker or you can even run him as a second nuker with right types of uh, teams. And which champion am I talking about? Nani? I guarantee you that Joffred is insanely good. Now, what is Joffred's role in PvP and how do you use him? Joffred has very interesting passive, but first of all, he has the entire package. He does multiple other things apart from just the passive, but the passive is actually insanely good. Some people used to call him like a mini Necret, but in the current meta, he's definitely better than Necret. He doesn't have a great matchup against Narsus, just like Necret. Narsus ignores his passive, sadly, but even with that, he's super good. And at least he doesn't give you negative consequences in your team if you have him against Narsus. Necret will, he's still useful, just the passive doesn't work against that. But outside of Narsus, which is the only counter to him basically, he's super good and he fits the meta insanely well. He's one of the only ways in game really to survive something like George It Nook. You can't really do it outside of like Harima passive or on specific champions with other stuff, but you can't do it for your teammates. Basically, Chovred is the only way to survive it. And what am I talking about? So, on his passive, he has two different effects. The other one puts one turn stun every time an ally is attacked while under block damage buff. That's the passive effect, so it's always gonna proc. And then the active effect is that if an, about, if an ally is about to die, he will block that damage and then place block damage buff on them and this might kind of sound like this should block Narsus because it will put block damage on him but this will not actually activate which is kind of sad unlike Leorios who will activate his passive Joffred isn't gonna do it just like Siegfried that's his massive big Achilles heel but let's say that you want to protect your own Narsus for instance or the enemy team doesn't have one He's insanely good, one of the best super champions in the game, super underrated. And passive is very good, like I said, you can survive a hard nuke from speed team, something like charge it, that there's no other way that you can survive it. Charge it is gonna kill champions through stone skin, it can even kill your UDK in one hit, but it will not go through this passive, so that's super good. But then, actually the A2 and A3 are insanely good as well. So A A2 gives increased defense buff on the entire team and also removes decreased defense and weaken. And this might not sound insanely good since it's just a support skill and he doesn't attack, but when you combine it with his passive it makes your team a lot tankier. And he himself is a defense scaling nuker, so it actually has insanely good synergy with him. You don't necessarily need to have something like Sifi, and let's say that you're using defense scaling nukers, like let's say Tormin, which I use, and you don't have Sifi. Outside of Sifi, he's definitely the best defense buff champion for your team. Marius might also be a very good one in the future, but he's definitely up there. He can do both damage and support. And then the A2 is just an AoE nuke, but with a stun. There's not too many champions with 100% chance of stun on an AoE nuke and this skill actually does enough damage to kill enemies especially when you combine it with his passive that can also stun the enemy teams often you will see Joffred in the types of teams with maybe multiple lockouts or like one lockout you could run him with two nukers or just one nuker and him as the second nuker but if you're able to buff strip the enemy, 
or sees it in some way, then his damage is definitely potent enough to kill teams. And in the current meta, like I said, he's the only champion that can survive hard nukes, except he doesn't work against Narcissus. But let's say nobody can defend against George's A3 or any of his skills, but especially the A3. And nobody can protect against the secret nuke and so on. Joffred is the only one that can do it. Okay, UDK Stoneskin can protect you from... Um, Stoneskin UDK can protect you from Joffred, uh, from Siegfried, but that's about it. But you get my point. He's insanely good, super underrated. You should totally use him. Now, like I was saying, in this meta, you actually see a lot of champions with buff strip that are very relevant, that both sides will pick very often. Galatir, um, Mikage, uh, even Lazarus, I mean, he's not buff stripper, but he does block buff step off, but Galatir, Krixia, uh, Wukong, Mikage, there's a bunch of other ones, like, buff strippers are super, super common, and if you pair him with, let's say, a buff stripper and lockout, or even multiple of those, he's a nuker that also protects your team. Like I said, maybe you're running a speed team, against an enemy speed team, and he's faster than you. This is the only way to survive George it. Now, the A1 even is very good on this champion. He hits twice, he has 50% chance to place decreased defense, and a provoke. So he has three different CCs on his skills. He can even proc the passive stun like all the time, not just on cooldown. And like I said, you might not think that you would have enough damage with him, but if you pair him with, let's say, buff strips or lockout or both of them, you're able to stun enemy, you're able to um, decrease defense and provoke them, CC them a lot, you can totally kill uh, enemies with this champion. And the A1 actually has pretty decent multiplier of 1.8 and hitting twice. And the A2, I think, um, it has 3.7 multiplier. Not the highest, but it's average, it's nothing terrible, especially when you combine it with his CC. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I think many people have this champion, you might be sleeping on him, I totally recommend you to use him, I wish I had him, I'm almost tempted to sometimes to pull 15 axe on him, but I still want Harima more, but I wish I had both of them. Anyway, that's it for this video. Try Siegfried, um, try Joffred, don't take me at my word, try it, you'll see he's super good. Good luck with your arena and I hope this helps. See ya.